This week on Rams 360. Welcome to Lambeau Field under the lights. 15 degrees and it feels like eight. It's real smooth. I think the mat just looks better. We're so happy to be here in Disney California Adventure. Look at all these decorations, so vibrant. You've been selected as this year's Walter Payton Man of the Year Rams nominee. All this and more on Rams 360. We are heading to the Hollywood Food Coalition to help distribute meals for the homeless. We've got some right here. We got some right here. Ooh, this is a peanut butter brownie. If I find another brownie, I might keep it. That's no promises. <laughs> We're serving happiness and joy in the form of dessert. We got a fun opportunity tonight. Uh, you know, I had the distinct honor last year of being the Walter Payton Man of the Year, but something really cool to me to carry on the legacy. I get a chance to present to this year's nominee for the Rams, Tremaine Ingram. Uh, it's gonna be really special. We're gonna have a great time and can't wait to surprise him. What's up, everybody? How we doing? What's up, baby? What's up, baby? How are you, man? Good, man. How are you, you, bro? My guy. Yeah, I've gotten to watch you for many years now. Be who you are. Man. Last year, I had a really cool honor to have a chance to be a part of being the Rams nominee for Walter Payton Man of the Year. And I couldn't tell you more humbled I, I could be than to have the chance to tell you that through who you are, each and every day, you've been selected as this year's Walter Payton Man of the Year Rams nominee for 2022. Oh, wow. Tremaine Anchor. Yeah. 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 And the best part about this man is everything he does is just about his community and it's about the people he lives life with. It's not about people knowing about it. It's not about him talking about it. It's just who he is each and every day. And I think that's what makes it so special for you to have this opportunity, man. Thanks uh, for being you. Man, well, I, I don't even, this is such a big honor. Coming from you, man, I mean, like, I don't know what to say. I, I'm speechless. I don't, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm grateful. Yep. So, that's awesome, man. Well, we're thanks. proud of you, man. Thank I appreciate you. that, Whit. Thank you, brother. Wow. Y'all yeah, looking at me for hey. 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 Congratulations, yeah. brother. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Uh, well, let's get to work. Yeah, we can get back to it, right? Okay. You got to come over here. You got to open it up. Make sure you do it right, though. Well, I think when you think about Tremaine, it's, it, there's so many different ways that you can affect your community. And you can do it through donating your money, your time, your service, uh, your advocacy, and your voice. But for Tremaine, it's all the above. I feel like you have to be great wherever your feet are planted. People want to have these kind of ideas, these grand gestures, like I need to help people, I need to do this. I think start where you're at. I always wanted to kind of be like a conduit to just like anything I can do that can serve any population here that may include the kids, may include people that are going through uh, inequalities or, or homelessness. Like if I have the tools, resources to help, that's what I should be doing. To me, it means being an ally to someone who's going through it. And to know that someone can do something as small as just like, hey, I'm thinking about you. You know, here's something to make you smile, something to make you laugh. You know, you're serving that, that person's soul. Support is something now you should see, but you feel, right? You feel in the physical, when people are there, you feel in the mental, when people give you security, that, hey, I got you. Like, you fall, I'm gonna help you up, or whatever it is. It gives you the emotional security that I am loved, I belong somewhere. So support, I've been blessed to have a lot of it. And I think it's be a blessing to give. It's just who he is on a daily basis, wanting to make his community better, wanting people to know that they're not living life without him uh, and that he thinks about them each and every day. He shows up. And I think sometimes in life, that's the best thing we can do is just show up. You just show up for people. And Tremaine Ingram does that. The real show of community is that people support you. At times, it could feel like we're only ones dealing with this certain thing because our experiences make it so different when, in fact, it's the opposite. The human experience is, is but so similar to each one. We really do have the power to, to lift each other up. I met him when he was a ninth grader. And my husband used to do a dinner and invite the entire offensive line over to our home. And the first time I met Tree, it was at that dinner. Jeff, he was, he was a good man. He was tough on you. He supported you through whatever. 
and he wanted you to take the same mentality you applied in sports and applied in real life. You know, his thing was to keep fighting every day. I think that's something in his legacy I, I want to for sure carry on and try to live through. My chemo for started because we were living it. January of 2019, Jeff was not feeling great. He had Burkitt's lymphoma. So when Jeff first got diagnosed, his sister had made these, what she called, you got this bags for every round of chemo. One day walking down the staircase after I went and got the bag, I said, hey, it looks like my chemo fairy came last night. And I, it clicked. And I was like, I think I've got an idea. Like a fairy, right? You think of a, like a magical entity or person that's coming out to lend assistance or give you a hand or help make your dreams come true. And I think that it's a perfect comparison to what we want to try to be able to emulate and help kind of give the effect of, hey, like, you know, we're not magical, but we're here to help. My Chemo Fairy talks about the journey of becoming ill and going through chemotherapy treatment and getting better and being able to put that in a book. That's huge because part of healing and part of their treatment truly is trying to give normalcy to what is already so not normal. And that we have now because of the kindness and thoughtfulness of, of Tremaine. I mean, thank you so much for thinking of our patients here. It's about the service that he doesn't care who knows that he's doing it. Uh, most of the time, no one knows he's doing it. And that's the most impressive part. And I think that's what gives me uh, you know, such a, a great feeling about a chance to be a part of this is because for somebody like that to, to have a day where we honor him and show up for him and tell him thank you for being who he is, I think that's really special. The more we support each other, the more we all win. And I think that's important to support those that are going through it, because we all are going through it. Even the ones that are silently fighting every day. It's not a big fight, but it's one that's happening every day. And I think that the more we raise awareness, the more that we let people know they're not alone in this fight. <laughs>
I know, I know. I need to run that far. What the hell, man? Here we go, third quarter. Now in snowy Green Bay, Wisconsin. You cold? Good answer. Can you imagine like clearing all the snow out of this place? Every seat. Yeah. Every walkway, every seat. Ain't that bad once you get going. No, no, no. You wearing sunscreen right now? You wearing sunscreen on your ears? Oh, no, it's like that. It's not that. Right, lights aren't deaf, right? Make sure you have fun with it. You feel me? I got you. You know what I mean? I'm close to home. This is money for me. You ever yeah. seen that before? Yeah, quarter turns. Yeah, you know? yeah that's how you get you used to do that. for another sack. Yeah. Uh, and then you shuffle in LA. Yeah. Let me fix you up, brother. Thanks, brother. <laughs> hey, come on, Flo. Turn the on. Yeah, Flo. Yeah, Flo. Yes, sir. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, 5 4. Say my name. Hey, finally you did something, I know. Rodgers, leading clock, down to three, opens up right, hands off Jones, middle, flag down, good run to the 20, Ramsey's got him, this one could be coming back, for now it's a first down carry, oh, you got the, the ball, ball came out late, that's out, that's out, Jalen Ramsey out. has it in his talk arms, talk to me, talk to me, up to the wow. 30, hey, long time no see boys, let's go, let's go to work, hey, you told them they better go down, you told them they better go down, so, where you been, dog? I've been here. They just keep running that way. Any interception is like, that'd be dope. You're so cool. Okay. Again, bro. Again. Again, big dog. Again. Again, fellas. Again. We've stopped on our way to the Festival of Holidays. Look, even the car is dressed up. This is awesome. We're so happy to be here at Disney California Adventure. You are watching Rams 360. We've stopped on our way to the Festival of Holidays. Look, even the car is dressed up. This is awesome. We're so happy to be here in Disney California Adventure. Look at all these decorations, so vibrant. It's so beautiful in here. I love all the colors. So festive. It's Santa! Can we take a photo with you? Absolutely! Let's do it. Wonderful! <laughs> <laughs> Am I having lots of fun today? Yes, yes, yes. we yes. love being fun. here. Oh good, I do too! Yes, when Mickey calls, I come flying in my sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably got you on speed dial. He does, he does! <laughs> I love how Disney California Adventure Park just has this festival of holidays with this variety of food. It's so hard to choose from what I want to eat. I feel like it all represents every culture. And also, I love that we have the Sip and Savor Pass, so we really can try every single kind of food. One of our favorite ways to celebrate the holidays is with food. And here at Disney California Adventure Park, with the Festival of Holidays, you can try foods from all over the world. All you need to do is get your Sip and Savor Pass and use those coupons around the park to try the food just like this. Yalissa, what are you most excited to try? Me personally, I am very, very excited to try the Esquitas Carnitas Mac and Cheese and the Guava Melon Lassi. Just deliciousness all around. I'm so excited to try the Impossible Chorizo Queso Fundido. It smells delicious. Ooh, that looks good. Yes. I think I'm most excited for this pork belly adobo. It's really calling my name. Guys, should we try it out? Let's, Let's do, do, it. do it. Okay. Mm. Oh, it smells delicious. I, I can't wait. I'm excited. Ooh. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow. We mm. have to try this. Okay. Give it a bite. Mm. That's really good. Yeah, try some of the car carnita. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh wow. That is dessert in a cup. 
I'm gonna give it all a 10 out of 10. 10 out Every of 10 Every single item on this table. Oh 11 God. out of 10. That seems more accurate, actually. Okay, I think we can all agree that this food is 11 out of 10. Absolutely. Delicious. Make sure that you don't miss out on the Festival of Holidays at Disney California Adventure Park. Make sure you grab your sip and savor pass and eat until your heart's content. Cheers and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, everyone. joining us through Disney California Adventure Park and celebrating the Festival of Holidays. We'll see you at the park. Coming up next on Rams 360. I'm proud to have this car just like, I can just think back to times when I would think, you know, and this one just always would come back to my mind, so. China. So this is my baby. What's going on guys? This is Ernest Jones here and this is Rams Ride. Okay, this right here is my 2021 Jeep Trackhawk. Um, my favorite color is green, so I decided to go with like a military green wrap. Um, and I love the gold wheels that I added to it. Just kind of set the car up and make it, you know, look beautiful. And um, it's 700 horsepower, so goes pretty fast. So it's one of the fastest SUVs. What I like most about this car is probably like, it's fast, but it's very smooth. Like, even in, when I'm in the passenger seat riding, it doesn't feel like you're going that fast at all. So it's real smooth, but it also get up there and race with about anything. Oh, I think the mat just looks better. The shiny as far as when it, when the light hits it, I got some like glittery gloss type things on the inside. So I think it just looks better. Yeah, this is my first car. First car that I purchased, you know, with my own money. It's surreal, uh, just having this car, it kinda, every time I look at it, every time I drive it, it makes me, you know, realize the hard work that I put in, because this is one of my goals from the, from, the, from the jump, to, you know, get one of these cars, so I love it. It, it shows a lot of hard work put in. How do you feel it stacks up to your teammates? Oh, no, I stack up well. I stack up well. A lot of the guys, you know, they, they talk a good game, but they don't want to line up and see this bad boy for real. I'm proud to have this car just like, I can just think back to times when I would think, you know, coming up on the draft process, what kind of car I would have depending on what round I would go. And this one just always would come back to my mind. So to have it just, you know, signifies like hard work and just show that, you know, I really put in the work to deserve this car and to have it. We'll get the, um, the interior done. I'll get my logo and stuff put on the seats. I'm gonna change the color of the seats and a lot of performance stuff to make it just even faster. A thousand horsepower, that's the goal. It, it definitely like signifies and it exemplifies what it, how I like to play the game. Fast, physical, real smooth, smooth on the football field, smooth just in general. So I definitely feel like this car fits me, fits my personality. It's everything. For me, I just see this car just being one that I have for the rest of my life, just something that I know I, I worked hard for and that it was, you know, it's a blessing to finally have one. We flinched and nobody ever gave up. Guys just kept fighting. Mayfield, silent count. Sets his feet and fires end zone. Leaping catch. Stay tuned for more Rams 360. Welcome to Lambeau Field under the lights. 15 degrees and it feels like eight. 
Carry it over from Thursday. It was great leaving SoFi with a W. It'll be even better leaving this frozen tundra with a victory in Green Bay. And let's go start this ball the right way. Look, get on three, one, two, three. Knock out! It's cold, but I thought everybody handled it well. Um, I didn't think it affected us by any means. Rodgers in the shotgun. Fades back, top of his drop. He's hit. He is sacked. Back at the 20, Leonard Floyd. I saw the quarterback win and sack him. I just executed my moves, man, got back to my basics. Rodgers with a fresh set of downs. All day to throw, fires left side, overshot his man. It's intercepted at the 15-yard line. The Rams take it away with Taylor Rapp. Let's go. Come on, bro. Positive I can say right now is nobody flinched and nobody ever gave up. Guys just kept fighting. Mayfield, silent count. Sets his feet and fires end zone. Leafy catch, Tyler Higby. His first touchdown catch of 2022. It's excellent job by him manipulating the defense on the touchdown pass to Higby. I like the way that he just stayed consistent and kept battling throughout. Rushing Rodgers. Has to step up. He's hit. He's sacked. It's Leonard Floyd again. His second of the night. A lot of adversity that we've gone through, but I think what we've seen from our guys, Sarah, is they're going to continue to battle. They're going to finish up these last three games the right way uh, with the right mindset and mentality, and we'll compete to the best of our ability. And um, that's all I know how to do, and I, I trust that that's exactly what we'll do collectively as a group. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next week for more Rams 360.